Mm. Let's make halal carbonara. How do you make carbonara without using pancetta or bacon? Basically making it pork free, but yet still tasting as close as possible to the authentic carbonara the Italians make. Many restaurants here in Malaysia are pork free to cater to the mass Muslim community we have in our country. They mainly use alternatives like beef bacon, turkey or chicken ham. Now over the years, I've discovered what I think is the best alternative to bacon and it's also something we use in our restaurant since we too are pork free. The Italians make the carbonara, they use pancetta. Pancetta is basically cured pork belly and the pork belly has a lot of fat. Now when you render that fat into your carbonara, that's what gives it that deep rich flavour. Now you think of that for a minute and then you think of using beef bacon, turkey or chicken ham, you realize that those other alternatives are made from lean meat. So you might get the saltiness from the cure of those meats, but what's missing is the fat, which gives that flavor. So my alternative is smoked duck. Smoked duck has a lot of fat. You can see as I'm pressing it down, the fat sort of just oozes out. And that is the fat that will give our carbonara that nice richness. Once we've cut the duck into slices, now I'm just going to turn it the other way around and slice it into nice chunks. And this is going to be our duck bacon. Now, once we've diced up our smoked duck, I'm just going to put it into a pan on low heat to render out that fat from the duck. You really want to keep this on a really low heat yeah, to render out the fats from the duck really slowly before the duck turns too brown all right, or the duck burn. Here I've got a pot of water that's boiling away and I'm just going to add salt to this water. Yeah? Now that the salt is in, pasta goes in. Now for the cooking time of the pasta, if your packaging says 9 minutes, set your timer to 8 minutes. So we're going to finish it in the pan. Now, we've got the pasta going, we've got the duck that's rendering away. Now we're going to start with our cream. Yeah, I've got egg yolks here, four egg yolks, which now I'm going to combine with Parmesan cheese. Give everything a good stir, a good mix, yeah, to combine the egg yolks together with the cheese. Here's the thing, carbonara uses very few ingredients, but every single ingredient matter. So even down to the eggs, yeah, try to get as good quality eggs as possible yeah, to ensure you get the best carbonara. Now, once we've mixed up the eggs and the cheese, I'm gonna start adding in the black pepper. And this doesn't work because I haven't got the wrapper. All right, so you can see the amount of fat yeah, that has been rendered out from the smoked duck. Timer's up, we're gonna remove the pasta and put it into the pan. All right, now we're gonna add in some pasta water. All right, so the pasta water contains a lot of starch, right? So that's what's gonna give it that nice velvety texture. And this is where I mean about we're finishing off the pasta in the pan. Yeah, allowing the flavour from the duck bacon yeah, to infuse together with the pasta water so that the pasta will absorb all that flavour. Yeah, once you see that the pasta water is already sort of absorbed into the pasta, now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to add in the cream. Okay, once the cream goes in, you can add in a little bit more pasta water. Now this really now depends on you. Some people like the carbonara really, really nice and thick. Some people like it a little bit more loose. So if you like it a little bit more loose, add a little bit more pasta water to your carbonara. And now we're ready to plate this. If you do have a carving fork, use a carving fork. Yeah, you get this nice sort of uh, roll of pasta that you'll be able to plate. If not, a fork works as well. Look at that. Top it off with some of our smoked duck bacon. A little bit of cracked pepper. 
last but not least, another shave of Parmesan cheese. You can never get enough of cheese, right? Now this is your halal carbonara. Goodness. This is so, so flavorful. Yeah, it's got that nice, deep, rich flavor from the duck bacon. Now, this carbonara is, I believe, as authentic as it can be to the original carbonara using pancetta. If you've tried your carbonara with beef bacon, turkey ham, or chicken ham, I urge you, please, please try smoked duck. And if you did, do let me know in the comments down below how you think it's different. And if you've enjoyed this content, guys, please do click like and subscribe, okay? And if you don't mind, share with your friends. I'll see you next time. Ciao.